this video we'll be installing WordPress for XAMPP. If you haven't already installed XAMPP, please check out the video previous to this one where we did that installation on Windows. Now that you have a browser open, go to the WordPress website at wordpress.org. And while you're here, look for this blue button called Get WordPress and make sure to click on it. And here we get two options below. We get download WordPress 5.5.3. This is the zip file download. And there's also the download for more Linux related uh, WordPress, which is .tar.gz. So click on download WordPress 5.5.3. So now that we have this downloaded, let's go to the folder where we have downloaded the WordPress zip file. And here we want to right click and click on cut. And then we want to head over to the XAMPP directory and the hgdocs directory. If you don't know about these directories, again, in the previous video, I explained most of that stuff. Okay, so now we want to right click in this directory anywhere in the white area and click on paste. And now that we have clicked on paste, we are we have the archive directory, the zip archive file here, and now we want to extract that. We want to go to we right click and we go to extract here. This is using WinRAR. It's, you can download it for free as well too at winrar.com. And when we extracted it, as you can see, it created a WordPress folder. And in there, we have all of our WordPress PHP files. Now let's get back to the browser where we are going to go to that directory via the web server. Of course, localhost represents the htdocs directory. So in order to get to the WordPress directory, we need to type slash WordPress. And once we do that, the setup configuration begins to happen. Now, the first thing we'll do is, of course, select our language. And then there's some instructions. It tells you what WordPress needs from us. So it gives us an idea what we are about to do, which is we are about to add in the database name, the database username, password, host, and table prefix. So let's just continue with let's go. Now here we need to supply our database information. And so in order to do that, of course, we have to create a database altogether. And we can do that in XAMPP by creating a new window in our browser new tab and go to localhost slash php my admin php my admin is used to manage all of your databases and it's included in xamp as long as you clicked on the install again that is in the previous video as well and we want to head over to user accounts this is the quickest way to create both a user account and the database for WordPress. Head over now to add user account. And in there, we can name it WordPress. So that's going to be the database's username. And we leave this to any host. And then we go to the password section and we type in WordPress. Of course, you can choose another password, but this is for demonstration purposes only. And now that I've entered the basic information, the username, the password, and retype the password, make sure to click on create database with same name and grant all privileges. And after we've done that, scroll down and click on go. Awesome. So it says you have added a new user and we've also created a new database. And that's it for creation of the database and the user as well. Let's head over back to WordPress to continue the setup. And here we already have the correct database name because we named it WordPress. And now it's going to ask us for the username and that username is going to also be WordPress. And the password was WordPress. And that's make it really easy to get all WordPress installed. Now, as you 
have seen here, there's the database host. We're going to leave that as localhost because XAMPP is installed on the localhost and the table prefix, we don't have to change that either. So just click on submit. And now we click on run the installation. And now it's going to ask us for some basic information about our WordPress site. And we're going to name the title WordPress, but you can name it anything you want to name it. And it's going to ask you for another username and password. And this is your admin username and password for WordPress, the actual website. And this is different from your database username and password, which we created recently. Okay. So we can name this something like admin. And we're going to set the password to something easy since we're going to install this locally and we're going to be doing most of the development locally here. And we can click on confirm use of weak password. Enter your email address and then click on install WordPress. It's going to take a few seconds and then it's going to finish installing. At this point in time, it's creating the tables, it's creating the data in the database and getting things ready for us to use WordPress. And that wasn't so bad. It didn't take very long. And now that uh, it says success, that means that we have a working copy of WordPress and let's go to log in. Now, this is to log into the administration section of WordPress. And that's where the last username and password we used, which was admin and admin was set up. So we use that here and we just click login. And once we've done that correctly, we should now have access to our administration section of WordPress. And as you can see, this is the part where we add posts and media pages, comments, and uh, adjust the appearance, add additional plugins, which will add additional features to WordPress. But this isn't what the actual user will see. The actual user will see this link, which is visit site. So we're going to open that up and let's have a look at what the WordPress page looks like. This is what the user will actually see. And this is the admins page. So let's log out, right? Let's log out and do this from scratch one more time as we close off this short video. So to get to the main WordPress, we go to localhost slash WordPress. And here we see what the average user will see. Now to get to our administration section, we have to add slash admin to the URL. And when we do that, now we get our logging details here where we type in admin and admin and get to our administration section. And if you've done this correctly, congratulations, you just made your first WordPress install. Please stay tuned for another video where we'll go into more details on how to configure WordPress and get some more features going. Thanks again for viewing. Bye-bye.